Hi, this is Alyssa from the Hospitable product team, and I'm going to walk you through our devices dashboard. First off, this dashboard is specifically for those who have hospitable managed devices, not those that are managed through a third party integration like Remote Lock. Uh, now, for all of you that have those devices that we manage, what you can see here is all of the codes that are associated with your reservations here in the reservations tab. You can filter these by multiple different criteria. You can also see if the code was used and on hover, you can see when that code was used. If you wanna get more details about a code, all you have to do is click on it and you can see all the details in here. And if you need to, you could delete the code or you could edit the code. You can edit the name if the code isn't visible on the lock yet, but this one is, so you couldn't edit that. You can't change the date of the codes since this is specifically related to a reservation, but you can change the timing by clicking in here and then you can adjust the timing. Now, if you wanted, you could always go, you could always lock or unlock the lock from in here. You can see the full of the code. You could click through to see the device. This allows you to see the device status, its power. You can unlock and lock from here. You can see your battery threshold, which can be edited by selecting edit. You can also view all of your codes and this will include any backup codes that aren't generally seen. Now in the operations tab, you can see all of your operations codes, that being codes that are manually created. Now the use case here being you could uh, create a code for a cleaning team and make sure that it's only active when they actually need to be in your property. Or you could have some always on codes. You can select either option. And from the devices tab, you can get an overview of all your devices, their uh, online status, their battery level, and what properties they're connected to. You'll also notice that any notifications that you have enabled are gonna show up here and when you received it. When you dismiss, it's gone. From the setup page, you can see all of your connected accounts. If there were any unmatched devices, you would see them here in the unmatched devices section. This is also where you can delete any accounts that are connected and set up any settings that you like. By default, we use the guest phone number to create codes, but you can also use a random number for increased security. You can also change the buffers of your code timing. This means that um, if you want the code to be actively usable before or after checkout, then you could put in a time here. Great use case for this is a lot of people often forget something um, after they check out. Well, you could account for that by allowing for maybe a 30 minute buffer or a one hour buffer. Code communication is on by default. What this means is that if there was an issue with the code that say you already communicated using the smart lock short code, then we can communicate a backup code that is already set on your lock and we can communicate that to the guests. It would be this message. If it is time for the guest to check in and the code hasn't actually been sent to them yet, then we will send this message. If for any reason you do not want a code to be sent to a guest, then you can always change the timing of the code, push back the check-in time, or you can even delete the code. Generally, we just want to make sure that your guest gets the code that they need to to get in. Here, you can also set your notification preferences. By default, you will always get any issues that require attention here in the dashboard. If you toggle this off, you won't get it anywhere. If you toggle on, it's only in the dashboard. Push would be push in our mobile or desktop apps. And email is, of course, via email. And that's it. I hope you enjoy using the dashboard.